Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to make a replica of this Mustang Cobra emblem using a two-part mold and green sand. I've already made an open mold casting using pewter. You can see that here. Pewter is a heavy metal that melts at 750 degrees Fahrenheit and works really well for open mold castings. Here's the part where I made the open mold casting using kinetic sand. Kinetic sand is not meant for metal casting, but it does work really well for low melting temperature metals and you can reuse it over and over and over again. After 5 to 10 minutes, it has solidified and I can remove it from the sand using a pair of needle nose pliers because it is still hot. Now that all the sand has been removed and it's been quite some time later, I can now handle it with my hand. I'm going to be using this to make the replicas of the Cobra emblem using green sand in a two-part mold. For today's metal melt, I'm going to be using the Vivor electric furnace. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I do have an affiliate link in the description below. I'm going to first start this furnace off by loading it with some aluminum cutoffs from previous pass. With this specific furnace, after turning it on, you do have to hit the P button and make sure you see the equal sign next to the temperature above. While I wait for the furnace to heat up and melt that aluminum, I'm going to be putting together a green sand mold using a two-part casting flask. The green sand I'm using today is called Tetan Black Olive and Sand. I purchased mine on eBay. While I was putting together the mold, I did check on the furnace and noticed the aluminum was molten. So I added more aluminum to the furnace to make sure I had enough aluminum for the cast. While I waited for the aluminum to melt down, I used a small propane torch to preheat the top of this casting flask. While waiting for more aluminum to melt down, I put together a second casting flask with the same Cobra.
because I still have more molten metal inside the crucible, I'm going to be pouring the remainder of it into this graphite ingot and doing the same thing I did before, preheating the mold before pouring the molten metal into it. It's been about 15 minutes. This mold is still hot, but the metal has definitely solidified and I can remove it from the mold. After scraping away the sand with the wire brush, I can see it really captured the detail of the sand. This one seems to be just as good as the first. I'll wait for the next day so it cools down and I can handle it with my hand. I'll put it in the vise and cut off the sprue on the top of it. With both of the sprues cut off, it's now time to take it over to the belt sander to sand away any of the flashing on the perimeter. Alright guys, here we go. Two almost perfect replicas of the Mustang Cobra emblem. Now I think they look good just like this, but I always get comments about adding a black finish to them to give us some contrast. So today I'm going to be adding some aluminum black to the aluminum. I'm going to apply it with a brush, covering the aluminum all over. It would be very difficult to get it into the depressions on the cast. So I'll coat the entire thing and use a wire wheel to remove it. After letting it set for 24 hours, I did clean up the first one. I did it two ways. I first using a thousand grit sanding paper, and I could not remove all of the black from the face of it. So then I went over it very lightly with a wire wheel, trying not to hit the depressions in the aluminum, because I don't want to take the black away from the depression. So now I'll show you guys how I did it on this one. All right, guys, here we go. They are both done being wire wheeled and they look fantastic. I definitely think they look better with the contrast, but I still like them without it. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I hope you guys don't leave yet because most people want to know how much one of these will weigh. So now we're going to be pulling out my scale and we're going to find out. One of these aluminum Cobras weighs 70 grams which also equates to 0 0.70 kilograms and 2.45 ounces of aluminum. Again, guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please smash that like button and comment below.